Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about Unpivot feature in Power BI and we will use the real world cases to get our solution based on that. If you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. A user posted on the community that they have an Excel data like this the project on this column and the every month on the top and they want to make the column chart like this below for this we weren't able to use this data which is available on the excel file as it is to make this to make this possible for this visual first of all we need to transform the data into unpivot so you just need to click on home and then the transform data it will open up the power query editor so this is a column I have the serial number, project, and every month on the top, and then value here. So first of all, you need to right click on that, and then you need to duplicate the table. I have made a video about the duplicate and the reference table. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back to this one, so click on duplicate. It will create a duplicate table. And then you need to go to the transform tab. You will have an option like unpivot columns. If you click on this small arrow, you have these three options, unpivot column, it will unpivot only the specific column and unpivot other columns which you have not selected and unpivot only the selected columns. If you selected two columns, say for example, I select these two columns and if I click on unpivot only selected columns, it will unpivot like serial number and project at the last and one A, two B, three C, and this one. This is not the right way here in this example. So I'm deleting this one and coming back to this one and project. So click on that unpivot columns. So this also doesn't give the exact result what we are looking for. So unpivot also deleted. Now again, I'm selecting this one and then click on unpivot other columns. If you click on this one, it brings up all the year here and serial number, month on the next column and value on the next column. This is what we are looking for actually. So, and then you need to rename this one as a month column. And you will filter this one. Only you will keep the month. You don't need the serial number. Click OK. For the value, you have dash symbol actually if you look at this one here you have a b c and one two three that is it is mixture of text and numeric this is a text here for that first of all we need to replace this one so right click on that replace values and then find the dash and replace it with zero click ok and next you click on this small a b c here and change it to whole number so it will convert the text into the value. That's all we need. Click on home and then apply and close. Instead of all these things, the unpivot table will look like this. So month, project and value. Based on this, we can use the month on the axis, month on the x axis, project on the legend and value in the value. Finally, this gives us the result what we expected. So this is a quick short video about the unpivot feature and also a real world case solutions we can handle in Power BI using Power Query Editor. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.